Are you finding some ripe ones, little bear? Yes, Mother. They're ripe and fat. You're a good dancer. Thank you. Hey, who said that? Uh, I did. Who did? Me. Hey, watch it. Oh, are you all right? I I'm all right. How are you? I'm fine. Glad to hear it. Uh, could you come a little closer? The sun's so bright. Thanks, that's better. What's your name? Little Bear. What's yours? I'm No Feet. No Feet. Get it? No Feet. I named myself. I came out of my egg and I was all alone. Somebody had to do it. You were all alone? Yes. But where is your family? I don't have a family. No mother, no father. I guess I'm an orphan. Gee. Who are you talking to, little bear? This is No Feet. Isn't he a nice little snake? Why, yes. Hello, No Feet. I'm happy to meet you. My pleasure. Y you have a beautiful garden. I've been enjoying it. Thank you. Little Bear helps me take care of it. No Feet came out of his egg and he was all alone. He has no family. Oh, that's too bad. Can we be his family? Can he live with us? With us? Sure, I guess. I can help you in the garden. I, I could dig some holes. We could plant some peas. Don't we have some peas? We certainly do. Are you ready? Follow me. I'm impressed. We can plant lots of things, like beans. And carrots and turnips and peppers and pumpkins my goodness you're very ambitious we make a good team we do can no feet live here with us mother please yes of course he can he can i can oh boy come on i'll show you my room hey wait up Want to ride? Love one. Thanks. You're welcome. You're lucky, little bear. You have a nice mother. She was even nice to me. She likes you. Some people don't. They don't like snakes. They think we're cold and slimy. You're a little bit cold. I know. But not a bit slimy. I know. I'm all covered with fur. I know, but I like you anyway. Thanks. This is my room. Wow. Very nice. Those are some of my toys. Very nice. I wish I had toys. <laughs> and this is my bed. Wow. I wish I had a bed. We'll make you a bed. Okay. Let's see. What would be a good bed for a snake? Hmm. How about this? I'll try it. How is it? It's a little too bright. Is that better? It, it's too dark. Help, help, open up. Oh. Come on out of there, no feet. Gladly. Hmm. Could this be your bed? Um, too crowded, I think. 
What about on the shelf? I'm not very fond of heights. Hmm. I know. How about here? It's right beside my bed. We can talk to each other at night. Not bad. Not bad. Do you have any dirt? Dirt? It's so nice to drift off to sleep in the dirt, don't you think? Well, not for me, but... Hey, I've got an idea. Dirt! Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Are you two having fun? We're trying to find a nice bed for Nofi. Ah. He likes a bed with dirt. And are you comfortable in that pot, Nofi? Um, pretty comfortable. Thank you. It's not a little too small? Well, maybe. Where is your favorite bed, Nofi? Well, actually, I'm especially fond of your garden. The garden? Oh, your house is lovely, of course, but your garden is grand. Hey, maybe you could live in the garden. I think that's a splendid idea. Night, Mother Bear. Good night, little bear. Good night, no feet. Good night, little bear. Help me with this one, little bear. Okay. <laughs> Gee, this is just like being in a tent. Grandmother Bear, can I sleep outside tonight? It can be a camp out. Well, so long as you find someone to camp out with you. Grandfather Bear, mm. can we sleep outside tonight? Just you and me? Just you and me? <laughs> I've never seen a finer tent. We have to pack. Right. For the trip. You bet. And an umbrella. An umbrella. In case it rains. Good idea. And a map. A map. In case we get lost. Good thinking. And pillows. In case we want to go to sleep? No. In case we want to have a pillow fight. <laughs> 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 Saw a whale chase a snail, fooba wooba, fooba wooba. Saw a whale chase a snail, fooba wooba, wooba boo. What's that? Oh, it's an old camp song. Will you teach it to me? Sure. Saw a whale chase a snail, fooba blooba, mooba hooba. That's okay. It's a little tricky the first time. Saw a whale chase a snail all around the water pail. Fooba booba clooba mooba. Fooba wooba wooba boo. <laughs> You'll learn it. You'll see. Cookies. Yay. Mmm. 
There's only one thing you really need for a camp out, and that's Grandmother Bear's cookies. I agree. Better stock up. These won't last very long. Mm -mm -mm. Ready? Ready. Goodbye, my dears. Bye. Don't worry about Grandfather Bear. I'll take good care of him. Hurry, Grandfather Bear. I'm hurrying, little bear. Saw a bug, give a shrug. Fuba, 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 fuba. Fuba, wooba, wooba. Boo! A chew! Did you know that if you sneeze when you're eating a cookie, it means that there's a full moon outside? <laughs> you don't believe me. Grandfather Bear, there is a full moon outside. <gasps> I saw a falling star. Blink three times, clap your hands twice, and make a wish. <laughs> Go on. Blink three times, clap your hands twice, and make a wish. What did you wish? That this camp out could last forever. That's a long time. Heard a monster at the door. Foo ba woo ba foo ba woo ba. Heard a monster at the door. Foo ba woo ba woo ba boo. Heard a monster at the door singing loudly in a roar. Foo ba woo ba foo ba woo ba. Foo ba woo ba woo ba boo. <laughs> Well, a candle going out means it's time for all good bears to go to sleep. Good night, little bear. It's fun staying up really late. But it sure is quiet. It sure is. Don't be afraid, Grandfather Bear. I'm right here. I've never been on a camp out before. You're doing fine. And I've never stayed up this late. At night. Outside. Have you? Well, a long time ago I did. With another little bear. I believe it was her first camp out too. Was she scared? She was. But she found out. If you sing a song before you go to sleep, then the moon will keep an eye on you all night long. Saw a bear close his eyes. Fooba wooba fooba wooba. Saw a bear close his eyes. Fooba wooba wooba boo. Saw a bear close his eyes. Fooba wooba fooba wooba. Bear and I had a camp out, and we stayed up late, and we made a tent out of sheets, and I sneezed on my cookie, and Grandfather Bear taught me this funny song. Fooba wooba fooba wooba. Fooba wooba wooba boo! <laughs> Why don't you wake up Grandfather Bear, and we'll all have some breakfast. <laughs> Grandfather Bear, wake up. It's morning. When someone tickles your ears, it means it's time for breakfast. <sighs> You're right. Make a wish and blow out the candles, Hen. Do I get a wish? What about me? 
Can I have a little wish? Come on, Hen. May we each have a little wish, Hen? Oh, I suppose. Yay! But I get to blow out all the candles. That's the best part. Sorry, Cat. Now let's all have our wish. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Now, I have a present for each of you. <laughs> balloons! I love balloons. There's one for each of you. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the orange balloon for, Hen? My balloon broke. It was for Emily, but she couldn't come. She lives too far away. I miss Emily. Me too. Maybe someday she'll move to the forest. Can I have Emily's balloon? But... Of course. You should have it, little bear. Thanks. Can I have Emily's piece of cake, then? Oh, it looks like somebody's already licked the frosting. I don't mind. <laughs> Let's all finish our cake. Yeah! Thank you again, happy Hen, and happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday Hen. Goodbye. Little Bear, how was Hen's party? It was fun. Hen let us each have a wish. I see she also gave you two balloons. The orange one is for Emily. I want to send it to her. I know. I'll mail it to her.
Must be Emily's house. Hello, Emily. Hello. Oh dear. Bye, Emily. Goodbye. Orange balloon, I can't go to my friend Emily's house, but you can. Please tell her I miss her, and that I wish she lived closer to us. Little Bear, you have a letter. For me? It's from Emily. Emily, what does it say? Dear Little Bear, Yesterday when I came home from school, what, what do, do you, you think, think I, I found, found in our front yard? An orange balloon. And that orange balloon made me think of you. <laughs> the orange balloon! It made it! And Little Bear, I have wonderful news. Lucy and I are coming to live with my grandmother in the forest. Lucy is very excited. We will live right near you. Signed, your friend Emily. My wish came true! 